So you have a Ryzen 9 7900X or in general just a Ryzen 7000 CPU and you wanna stop it from going all the time to 95 degrees or you're here because you wanna increase the performance or I don't know, you just wanna play around with it a bit. Well, this is the right tutorial for all three. Now today we're gonna take a look at how to do all that discussing a couple of settings uh, PBO, Precision Boost Overdrive first, then the static option, and then a manual PBO tuning as well. This will work both in the BIOS and your Ryzen Master. If you're gonna be using Ryzen Master in Windows, just do the same things we're doing here, but there. I do recommend using a BIOS, since it will just stay in your PC forever. You don't have to deal with the application, having troubles and stuff. And now today we're gonna be using a Gigabyte motherboard, but the settings will be the same for every motherboard. We're also using a 360 millimeters liquid cooler from Mars Gaming. If you have a different motherboard, your names in the BIOS might be slightly different, but they will be do the same thing. Uh, in case you have an ASRock motherboard, I have another tutorial on the channel that I recorded with a Ryzen 9 7950X. It's still an under volt tutorial. Uh, if you look at that, you will have some extra info on the names on ASRock boards, but the settings will be the same. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS, let's get started. Now, first of all, I wanna say, if you don't have XMP enabled for your RAM, EXPO, XMP, just enable it. it will have your RAM run faster. This I recommend doing it for either tuning option, either if you're going with PBO or with manual settings, just do it. Of course, check that it's working, but do it please. I have a video in which we investigate the performance difference and it's pretty big actually. I will leave le the link up here in case you wanna check it out, but it's worth it. Now, let's get straight into working, okay? There are two ways to do this. The first one is PBO. It's more geared towards people who have thermal headroom, people who care about power consumption, but not too much, and the gamers, this is for you, okay? The, the second one is gonna be if you have an overkill CPU, for example, if you're playing uh, like at 4K with like this CPU, then you can do the other one. But if you're playing like 1080p, 360 Hertz with a powerful graphic card, do this one, it's probably gonna be the best for performance. Let's get straight into it. So most motherboards offer an automatic tuning in which you can just choose how to use the PBO. So as you can see here, it says Precision Boost Overdrive Pro Enhancement. And if we go, it just tells you a ton of numbers. It's like 90, 80, 70. Now, what does all of this mean? Pretty simple, even though they don't explain to you. Basically, first number, 90, 80, 70, is your temperature target. So the temperature at which your CPU will target at. Personally, I like my CPU running cooler, so we will choose 80, but if you do have a very beefy cooler, just choose 90, or if you don't care about temperature, just choose 90. 90 will give you a slightly better performance. This is just personal preference. So 90, 80, or 70. 70 is if you want a really cool, really quiet system, just choose 70. And then we have some numbers. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then it starts again. One, two, three, four, five. What's this? This is a multiplier. So this is times 10. So one times 10 is 10, two times 10 is 20 and it's a negative offset that will be applied to the PBO curve, okay? So, 90 level two means temperature target 90 degrees, curve optimizer offset minus 20. So, if you just don't wanna think about this thing, I wanna use my recommended settings, I do recommend 80 level two. Now, on some different motherboards, you might have 85 level two or 85 minus 20 and like 75. In that case, I prefer 85 rather than 75, okay? But if you have 80, get 80. 80 minus 20. So, tutorial is over, you can close this video. No, just kidding, but uh, uh, this is it. For the first option, you just choose 80 level two, hit F10, save, enable your XMP, and it, you will be done, and you will enjoy a rather better performance and a better CPU. But this is a proper tutorial, so if in case you wanna experiment a, bit, a little bit, I will explain you how to test it out. So the higher the number you can input, the better. So if you are very lucky and you could run 80 level five, this would give you tremendous better performance, but this is gonna be stable just for a very small percentage of users. So you should just test this. You should just do this, enable it, go into Windows, run a stress test like Prime 95, small FFT and test it and see if it's stable. If you want something that is 100% stable, I do recommend 80 level two. Uh, so far, I haven't tried a single CPU in which this doesn't work perfectly fine. So this is my choice. Anyways, let's say you wanna do it still with precision boost overdrive, but manually. Okay, can you do this? Yes, you just have to go find it in the BIOS. So let's say this thing doesn't exist, or maybe you don't wanna use this thing for reasons. 
uh, you can go on advanced CPU settings and then you can uh, find a precision boost overdrive thing and enable it. Actually, you can put advanced in there and it will unlock all those things. And basically you can enable the platform thermal throttle control. And then here we can put again like 80, which is what we inputted before. Then on GFX curve optimizer, uh, you can uh, enable it, choose a negative sign and put minus 20, which is basically doing all this basically does what you can do uh, with two clicks by simply going here and saying uh, this. So just do this, please. It's much simpler, it's the same thing. Please do this. Okay, now with all this out of the way, let's talk about the other option, which is a static frequency and static offset. This thing will transform your CPU from a curve optimizer thing to an old, in a good way, good old static CPU. So how it will work after is if it's not under load, it stays at base frequency. If it is under load, it goes at the high frequency that we will set, at a set voltage that we will set. This will actually extend the life of your CPU a bit, not noticeable, but it will. Dramatically reduce your power consumption. The first method will reduce it anywhere from 20 to 50 watts. This thing will reduce it anywhere from 50 to 100 watts. And this will also slightly increase your performance in productivity applications that use heavy AVX instructions. So how do we do it? Well, we go on CPU uh, ratio mode, we put all cores, and on CPU clock ratio, we put 48. This will make our CPU run at 4.8 gigahertz. Now again, you do have to test this. If this is not stable, you might have to put 47, but generally 48 so far for me is working on every CPU that I own. So I'd recommend 48. Then you wanna go all the way down until you find something called CPU V-Core or CPU Voltage or Core Voltage, something along those lines. And you wanna hit enter and you can just select 1.2 volt. So now let's enjoy me scrolling through those settings until we reach 1.2 volt. Right there. At this point, again, choose settings. 4.8, 1.2, XMP enabled, hit F10, and you will be done. And this will be your other option. Uh, if you're working on Ryzen Master, if you're doing the static offset, you can just set all the cores to 4.8, voltage to 1.2. If you're in Ryzen Master doing the curve optimizer thing, just put minus 20, temperature target 80 or 85, and then you can just save it. If you wanna test more, try with minus 30, etc. If you want to test more this static thing, you might want to go as low as 1.175, but you have to be really lucky. Or you might want to go higher in frequency, which I actually do recommend. You still have to be a bit lucky, but you might be able to do it. So this is it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I read them all. And if it was helpful, drop a like and a sub. I have many other videos on the channel, like the build we're using uh, here today, some RAM testing, more undervolting. So you might want to check those out. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.